products have been sawn, blood tests, blood germ saliva tests, we've talked about BEV, bioelectronics have been sawn as the basis for my five phases of health model, that those tests showed that I was going to be dead by, before age 40. Over 99% probability based on other people who had the same measurements as me who were tracked by those measurements. So mm -hmm. not, you know, not that a, not a light record. prediction, <laughs> it's like, no, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. They don't survive, unless they change the conditions. By the time I had, you know, bypassed that and, and 10 years, you know, close to 10 years later, uh, you know, was in the process of outliving the predictions, but had changed the fillings and gotten metals out, it started getting metals out of my body. I'm continuing to, you know, I, I've gone through a period of cleansing my brain where I, I just couldn't read. I was having seizures. I, my brain wasn't working well. I, you know, I, I still have issues from that, you know, from the heavy metal toxicity long ago, but now my mind is working better than ever. I'm writing this book on, on Glendolph's big toe, it's my, my working title. It's, uh, just to make me laugh, but uh, everything's coming together. I'm able to, you know, study from physics to to metaphysics and, and see the relationships. So, how long did it take you to get out of the the crucial phase? Yeah, it took a year. Took a year, a year yeah. of, of intense dental restoration, taking out 14 large amount of fillings that all had electrical currents called buckle currents that were off the chart on the instrument, like peg the needle, all, all 14 of them. It's like I was, and I was a non-excreter, my kidneys were full, my brain was full, my pancreas was full, I was not excreting it, it wasn't coming out, uh, so, but so it was stored in my tissues. So I had to get out the source in my case because it was a high, a high ongoing exposure and I had to have support all through that. And not do it all at once, uh, I've seen people who have been actually injured uh, you know, chronically injured by trying to do too much at once. You know, if we have dental work where we're removing mercury from our teeth, that's, we're stirring it up. We're increasing right. our acute exposure in order to reduce our chronic exposure. Mm -hmm. So if our health is in an acute state, that's a risky thing. We're mm -hmm. just going to maybe stimulate a healing crisis or maybe it's going to be a disease crisis if we don't have enough support. So even, I've seen that even with, where they were on intravenous chelation drip and uh, vitamin C drip during the procedures, but they had it all done. They, they traveled and had it all done in one day, whole mouth, and out hurt the body. Mm -hmm. I've seen it with fasting. People say, oh, I'm, I need to fast, I need to cleanse, especially if it's a, not a protein sparing fast, if it's just, just you know, basically mostly sugar and lemon, you know, like a, like a master cleanse, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no amino acids. And that means you do that long enough, your body's gonna break down its own enzymes and, and muscle, which affects our metabolism, the ability to lose weight, but more importantly, our enzymes, our interest, not only our digestive enzymes, our intracellular enzymes. If we're breaking those down because we need amino acids to support our system's function and repair during that cleanse, now we're losing ground on rebuilding our health. So better, you know, the, the, the uh, juice fasting, because mm -hmm. plants have enzymes, and so that's going to supply enzymes, which will supply, help with the digestion and help with the amino acids that they're made out of to help with the cellular enzymes. We also like, uh, like to see people use pre-digested uh, amino acids to support that intense level of, of, of cleansing and fasting. It's used in, in uh, uh, medicine with like food allergies, where if I'm reacting to a food, that I'm eating every day, I may not know it because whatever my symptom is, I have all the time. It doesn't seem to be related to the food. In fact, right. I think that that food is good. For, likes me that I like it because mm -hmm. I feel better when I eat it. Uh, I may be, you know, fasting. We call breakfast because we're breaking a fast overnight, a short fast. But if you feel better when you have that sugar or coffee or <laughs> wheat or dairy or very common food allergens feel better when you eat it. Yeah, sure, because your body was starting to cleanse, starting to detoxify without it on your overnight fast. Mm -hmm. Now you're putting in and it goes, it goes out of cleansing mode and you feel better. Mm -hmm. So again, that's why that we're talking sense. about these kind of patterns mm -hmm. to, if we can understand how to read our body's language, whether it's through muscle testing, electronic measurement, reading the symptoms, reading our body's actual functions, 
now we can start to actually use our, our intelligence, our minds, and our scientific knowledge to help get the body out of this state that we're in in our culture where we tend to go downhill with age. We're not meant to. We don't have to. We can actually increase function. We do as, as a child. We're increasing function as we get older. We're learning, we're growing, we're developing, we're gaining skills. Uh, and that should continue even though there's, there's a cycle and uh, very few leave here alive. You know, there's a couple of prophets that were taken up in whirlwinds and, and still have their original body, but, but most of us uh, can look forward to regenerating that body because that, we're seeing how that is actually scientifically possible given the, all the new understanding that we have and the ancient, applying the ancient wisdom that, that totally fits the, the current knowledge of science. To, to understand the big picture, the theory of everything. So would you say that if someone wanted to start cleansing, they, if they were in a very toxic state, um, that they would have an aspect of protein yes. in their cleansing? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, again, there, there's, there is protein, there's enzymes in, in juices, so the, the kinds of programs that like people will do at home or maybe go to Mexico to do, in alternative uh, medical clinics. Uh, they'll use a lot of, of green juices and carrot juice, and, and that does have protein and enzymes, uh, rather than just something like a master cleanse. It's just not adequate for protein. And, and I, uh, I really like, and many other, other holistic physicians, uh, like the idea of a pre-digested protein. It has the amino acids in readily absorbable form, where your body doesn't have to work to digest it, and that's the idea of a raw juice fast as well, that it's self-digestible. Mm -hmm. Like our own cells have lysosomes, enzymes within the cell that if that cell is damaged, it can help to digest itself. So when we're having the juices of, of live foods, whether we're chewing them or having more by using a juicer uh, to support that kind of process, it's auto-digesting. Uh, yeah. So it, somewhere in, in that realm, that we call a protein sparing fast, that we're getting enough protein that we're not going to break down our own enzymes, especially the cellular enzymes that are deeper in the system, harder to replace. Mm -hmm. So where are we at in the phases of the regulation? Uh, we've, we've run through from, from blocked regulation where uh, everything I do doesn't work. I tried that, oh, I tried natural medicine, it doesn't work for me. Okay, but understand, that doesn't mean natural medicine doesn't work for you, it means it hasn't worked for you yet. It means you haven't done enough, maybe uh, enough time, maybe enough of the, exactly the right things. Uh, I find in, in electronic measurement uh, of the body, for example, that the, the remedies recommended by acupuncturists who are trained to, to sense the body's energy patterns in a, in a related way through the pulses, uh, they can read the, the, the pressure wave that's reflected off the internal organs in that fractal information. The information's everywhere. Just like the DNA in every cell of our body contains the DNA that's active in the liver or the DNA that's active in you know, the, the blood or that's in the brain. We, the information is everywhere if we know how to read it. And reading the pulses, like we talked about, you, know, you mentioned in Russia, they, they're using that in, in medicine. Um, that uh, the, the herb, Chinese herbs that, that are prescribed based on that, that's a 5,000 year old system. There's a lot of, a lot of epidemiological data, a lot of exper clinical experience in that system, a lot of wisdom in that system, that those medicines, let's say 80 to 90% of the time, also, you know, and this might be a month after it was prescribed, will, will actually energetically resonate and match and, and create a change instantaneously just by the light energy in those herbs being in the field, the light energy field of the body. The body responds to that. Why? Every chemical reaction in chemistry is an exchange of light and electron. Electron and light. There's endothermic reactions, there's exothermic reactions. Exothermic gives off light. Endothermic requires light. Even the exothermic reaction, like when we uh, break down sugar and release sunlight from the sugar molecules that were produced in a plant when it absorbed the, the sunlight, 
that it may require energy in order to activate it. So it, we can have, uh, the, in chemistry, the, the, the uh, activation complex requires a certain amount of energy to release that uh, gives free energy that we're going to gain from, from the reaction. Mm -hmm. I have a question in regards to cleansing and drinking water to move things and help the kidneys. Mm. Um, what blew my mind is reading about macrobiotics, and since you're talking about Chinese medicine, um, that they recommend to only eat white rice and no water for 10 days straight to cleanse the blood in order to have a healing. Have you heard of this? Or what do you think about um, this? Yeah, I, I, w I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and and I, there's certainly people who've had good results with macrobiotics. There's also people, people close to me who had health problems from a macrobiotic diet over a, an extended period of time. So uh, to me, if there is no diet that's perfect for me, you, or anyone else, mm -hmm. or certainly all of us, for our whole life. You know, you take an infant. Well, the diet I'm eating isn't going to work for that infant. Uh, take a person who's not well, and if their digestive tract isn't working well, if you're not well, your digestive tract isn't working well, even if you don't have complaints directly of pain or, you know, discomfort or bowels not working right. Because uh, that's really where health starts, largely as well as in the mind. Half of the stress, half of the toxins in our tissues are from our thoughts, our the neurotransmitters of stress that, that don't break down easily and leave the system when we're constantly bombarding ourselves with those. And the other half are environmental toxins from the internal environment largely, but in our culture now we're producing all these other environmental toxins that get in the food as well or in our lungs or into our skin, pesticides and things like that, that, that again block systems because they don't belong there. They, they're, mm -hmm. We're not set up to handle those. So uh, that's, I think that's, that's good. We've, we've covered it to a, to a certain level. People who, who want to uh, study more, that's why I'm writing a book. They'll have you know, certainly much more detail and laid out, not conversationally, but more you know, in, in sections and chapters and that sort of thing. Wonderful, thanks. Great. Thank you. Thanks for listening.